we were talking earlier about the fact that you were adopted when you were when you were a baby. I was quite surprised. You you actually found out some interesting things about your biological family when you began uh, researching. Mm -hmm. Tell tell me about that. Um. Well, when I was about 22, I guess it was 22 or 23, um, I found out that my birth mother was the daughter of Woody Herman. Thundering heard review. That was yeah. bad. <laughs> great for those people who don't. Great clarinetist, big yeah. band musician, big band leader. Mm -hmm. Just a fabulous musician, Woody, Woody Herman was. And I, I, I'm, I've heard a lot of wonderful things about him as a human being as well. So he was your grandfather. Yes. And you, you never knew that. Mm -hmm. how, did, how did you come to discover that? Um, well, my mother that adopted me was right. actually um, looking up some, you know, looking up information on my past, right. trying to find my birth mother's name. And, you know, this was something that I had looked for a little bit, but hadn't really gone into it. Right. And um, she happened to find this article about my birth mother, and it happened to be about a memorial service for her. She so had she, died. She died. She had died of breast cancer, right. and um, it just, you know, a few things in that, on that letter matched up, you know, that the name, Ingrid Fowler, right. you know, and all of that, and just, uh, it just kind of made sense. I mean, in Tennessee, where, where you know, I was born, where my birth mother had moved to, and um, so we made some phone calls to some of the people on the, um, you know, that were on the uh, article. And one of them being my half brother, Tom. And uh, so it turned out to be. It, she really was your mother. Yeah. Right. So it yeah. kind of opened up the door to, you know, Discover discovering my new, you right. know, well, my biological family. And now, she was a musician herself. Yes. Your biological. Yes. She was a country musician. She I was believe. a bluegrass, bluegrass. Bluegrass musician. Okay. And of course, she had this very famous father, great musician mm -hmm. as, as well. And it's kind of poignant in a way that you, you learned about her. I guess it probably wasn't too long after she had passed away, so you never got to meet her. I, it was like a year, right. I think, and they were doing, I guess it was like a year after her death, they were doing right. another kind of, you know, like a, a service where they had all these right. other musicians right. come uh -huh. and play and, you know, talk about her. And, and this is in Nashville? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you got to go there and meet some of your relatives there? I, about a year later I went mm -hmm. okay. to, and I, I visited my half-sister and half-brother, and um, got to meet some other, some cousins, and right. uh, met a lot of my birth mother's friends. And I mean, it was a really emotional experience because people looked at me, and they would like to start tearing up because they felt I looked so much like her. Right. And just... They, all the stories they would tell me about her, it was just really moving, because mm -hmm. I really... And you didn't get to meet her, yeah. but you did get to walk where she walked, and yeah. travel where she traveled, and meet people who did know her. Yeah. Right. So you have all this music in you that mm -hmm. you never knew about. Mm -hmm. And I know you like to, you like to sing. Uh... <laughs> Don't even try it. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me ask you, what kind of music... You have a rich musical heritage. What mm -hmm. kind of music do you gravitate to? Not necessarily as a singer, but maybe even as a listener. I like Sarah McLaughlin. Okay. Um, I mean, that's probably music that I would like. I mean, some of her stuff I would uh -huh. probably like too. Right. Um, but I think for myself, I mean, the way you know I see myself, if I were to be a singer, I think would be more like jazz, more Nora Jones style. Okay. I love um, Nora Jones. I really do. Really yeah, uh -huh. I think that, uh, I mean, but I listen to anything, anything right. except actually country. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't like country, but I mean, I listen to anything else. There is, you know, what I think about music is that there's good music and there's bad music. I don't think of it so much as categories. Yeah. There's good country and there's bad country, you know, there's good jazz and there's bad jazz. It just uh, all depends. You know, sometimes you have to dig a little bit to find. Have you listened to your grandfather much since you discovered that he is your grandfather? Or uh... I have a little bit, mm -hmm. not much. I actually recently was um, in New York City and I bought at the Virgin Records. They have a huge section on him, right. and I bought like a four pack on his like, greatest hits. CDs. I haven't I haven't opened it yet, but no. I did get it, so that's a start. <laughs> you know, he sang a little bit. I mean, he was primarily an instrumentalist, uh -huh. but he also sang a bit. Yeah. and I've heard some of him, and he, you know, he was he was actually a good singer. I've heard, I, I know somebody who knew him, mm -hmm. and I've heard that he was a wonderful man, 
uh, in addition to being a great musician, you know, kind, generous kind of guy. Uh -huh. And uh, it must be kind of neat to know that you've got this connection now that this was your, uh, this was your grandfather. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of a, it's kind of a treat. So tell me about this wonderful man that you want to meet. And <laughs> <laughs> what is he like? Oh, someone that can handle me? No. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Just someone who's honest and, you know, open communication. Uh -huh. So important to me. Right. You know, someone that calls more than uh, once every few days. Or, yeah, I think so. You and know, someone that would just accept me for who I am uh -huh. and even with all my faults and Do you actually have faults? Or? Yeah. <laughs> Surprisingly I'm not perfect. I, I See, didn't want to tell you that earlier, uh, but well, we only talk to perfect people here now, but uh, <laughs> Well you're pretty darn close to perfect. You, oh, you, thanks. you sure it seemed to be anyway. So would you like to get married? Would you like to have children? Is that something that's on the horizon you think or um Um, I would like to find the one to settle down with. Right. I mean, I, I recently turned 30, and not that I'm in any rush, like, oh my god, I'm getting right. old, but, right. you know, as a female, we kind of... The biological clock yeah. starts ticking. Yeah, and we, grow, we go through life with this kind of a plan, in a way, you know, okay. where I you always... Do. Yeah. Yeah. And I always thought, you know, oh, okay, by 30, I would have at least met someone, and maybe around that time, you know, go through engagement and all that sure and then by 35 okay then we have a few years of uh -huh. bliss and you know travel the world yeah. and enjoy each other and then by 35 start having kids yep that sounds like a, if I have sounds kids. Like a plan you know yeah do your parents want you to are they eager to have grandchildren and they eager <laughs> for you to get started on that or um... well you know what I think their main thing is that I'm happy right. and, and they do want to see me with somebody because right. The fact that the relationships haven't worked out, mm -hmm. you know, they would like grandchildren, but then again, they still have a son who's 19 years old, and mm -hmm. you know, so it's not like he's out of the house and they're all alone. I have my other two brothers are in serious relationships, okay. so you know, they're kind of next in line. So we'll see. <laughs> you know, it's a funny thing because you're obviously a wonderful girl, and I uh, you know wish you. Well, all well with this, and I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure you'll meet somebody, and it'll be great. You'll get married, you'll have children, and whatever. But it is, it seems harder in some ways for women than for men, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure why that should be. Yeah. <laughs> men are bums, I guess. I don't know why. But is that, you know, is that a problem or? Uh, I think today women are so much more independent, mm -hmm. and you know we're not going to settle. I think that we really, you know, maybe at one time it was like, well. If you were expected to get married, right. and you're looking for that one, and you're so worried that, you know, if you get too old and you want to have kids and all that, and the pressure is kind of on you, you know, and it's it still is, but I think now it's like we know we don't need to have someone in our right. life. It's right. great if we do, sure. and we want that, I'm sure, yeah. but it's not a necessity. So you'd like to get married, you'd like to have children, but if that doesn't happen, yeah. you're okay. Like, I'll never yeah. settle, so even if I end up a spinster, and my mm -hmm. brother always calls me a spinster sister <laughs> with my cat, then so be it. I mean, I'm, you know... You don't need to get married. Yeah. It would be nice. It would It would be nice to have someone that I could share my life with. And... Okay. Well, that's why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure that's not going to be a problem. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of guys who are really going to want to get to know you and meet you. and Because uh, you are a real interesting person. Uh, well, let's see. We talked about music, um, books, movies. Do you have any particular films that you love above all others? or? Uh... <sighs> the one thing I can watch over and over again is The Sound of Music. Oh, Julie Andrews, <laughs> all those kids. I've always <laughs> loved it, and I don't know why, I guess the whole musical thing, um, I always loved it. It's a great film. It yeah. really, really yeah. is. You know, and the nuns, the dancing yeah. nuns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then something totally, you know, far off from that, the movie I always loved was Dirty Dancing. Oh, okay. And that was probably the whole Patrick Swayze phase, you know, when yeah, every girl was in love with him. So. Yeah, it was he was an attractive young yeah. guy, he sure was. Do you like to dance yourself? I know you like to sing, but do you, do you like to I dance? I like to well? dance. Uh -huh. um, I, you know, I don't really go out dancing as much as I used to. I'm right. not really into the club thing, right. but 
you know, I would like to maybe take dance lessons and learn how to, after watching Dancing with the Stars and all of that, it looks you fun like to learn stuff? all that kind of stuff. That would be exciting. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've gone dancing with, with men who knew how to dance and right. taken lessons, and it's nice when they, you know, take the lead and right. twirl you around and all that. Of course, right. I don't know which way I'm going, but... <laughs> Usually when I dance with women, they end up limping. <laughs> <laughs> so I try, I try not to do that. Yeah. But uh, see, so you're a good dancer and you're a good singer and uh, you're 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 a very talented person. And uh, is there anything you'd like to say to America while while you have this opportunity? Your message to the world. Uh, just take one day at a time and, you know, live every day like it's your last. Just enjoy your life and never look back and regret anything. Well, that's, that's, that's very good advice. And you, you strike me as being, you know, happy, family-oriented, well-adjusted mm -hmm. kind, of, kind of person. And it's interesting because uh, you, with difficulties, obviously, you know, being adopted and that must have been kind of, there's been some sadness, too, mm -hmm. in discovering your family who you were still want to separate it from. Mm -hmm. But you had this wonderful adoptive family, mm -hmm. and you're obviously real uh, real close to them. I have a great family, and my mother mm -hmm. is my best friend. Right. And, uh, you know, I see my family all the time. I don't live that far. I actually live, mm -hmm. you know, a few blocks away, if you think about it. I mean, <laughs> I'm still very close to, uh, you know, my old neighborhood. I mean, I could walk there. It would probably take me about 10 minutes. Right. But, um, yeah, and my brother, one of my, well, my younger brother lives at home and goes to Iona, but my twin lives in Urshel, my other brother lives in Hoboken, but would like to move back to Westchester. So we're all very So tight. you're real close. And we talk all the time, and we, uh -huh. we're always together. You know, we just had our 30th birthday party, my brother and I, so we had it at my parents' house, and we had it catered and had all our friends and our family. It was really nice. That so. sounds really nice. Yeah. I'll bet they're very proud of you, your parents, too. Yeah. So, uh, I'm hoping they'll be happy when they when they see this. <laughs> what is your favorite song? Oh, my favorite song. I don't know. You know, I can't really answer that because I have so many songs that I like. Uh huh. Um. So that's I, I don't know if I could really say. You can't. You can't. Maybe my maybe favorite things from the sound of music is okay. something that I love and. <laughs> All right. Let's sing a little bit of it. Just no. <laughs> No, I can't get you. I can't. can't get you. Okay, what everybody doesn't realize is that I have, you know, really bad stage fright. Okay, well, yeah, maybe I'll, one I'll day I'll overcome it. Wait a minute. Girls in white dresses. Come on. <laughs> yeah. With blue satin sashes. Come on. Don't embarrass me. <laughs> <I can't. laughs> no, you're not going to help me out. No. I'm sorry. <laughs> I try. You can't say I didn't try. Well, you are just a delightful person, and uh, it's been a great deal of fun for me to talk to you. I hope this hasn't been uh, been too painful. No, not at all. And um, we have been talking to Christina Sperano, and uh, and I know that there are a lot of people out there who are going to uh, be very interested in, in, in meeting Christina, and uh, when she gets married, uh, she'll come back, and <laughs> I'll talk to her and her husband, and we'll just have a, a wonderful time. Thank you, Christina. Thank you. Okay, great.